Alright, what's up everyone? Thanks for joining me for another video. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you. You're awesome. So uh, today, uh, well let me give you a quick update to where we are now from last video and then uh, what we're going to do. Alright, so the primer obviously is on. Um, roof looks a lot better now. Um, I actually hit the whole thing with 600 grit. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like nice. Very, very smooth. Like if you go from here compared to like here where I didn't sand, night and day. Um, but uh, like I said, we're sanded down, looking good. Uh, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna attempt to spray some color. So uh, let's talk about that. The color I went with, um, nothing crazy, white. Arctic white. Uh, this company um, I found online. Uh, I was gonna order paint from Eastwood, uh, which is where I got most of my other painting supplies from, but they didn't have any of the activator or reducer or whatever, whatever stuff you add to the color. They didn't have any of that in stock, and it wasn't gonna be in stock for like another mid-June, I think they said, but uh, it is what it is. So I found some other website, ordered the whole kit um, with white and clear coat. So um, I just gotta figure out what I gotta do to mix these, um, mix them up in the gun, Start spraying it, uh, and I guess that's kind of it. Start spraying it, right? Uh, just gotta finish, uh, finish draining all the air out of my compressor. Uh, I think there's a plug at the bottom, get whatever moisture that's in the compressor out so we don't send it through the gun into the paint. Um, I remember to do that. Um, what else we gotta do? I also got to throw the plastic back up. And I just realized, uh, well, it has just been brought to my attention by my wife that uh, I didn't mention why I'm draining all the air out of the air compressor. Um, it's been especially humid out lately. Um, I may have briefly mentioned it now that I think about it. Uh, the air compressor takes that air, obviously, from around you, um, sucks it through, and the humid air, sometimes it'll turn back into water, I guess, if that makes sense, at the bottom of the compressor. So you don't want any of that air going through the gun. Um, clogging up the filter on the gun going into the paint so uh, that's why I'm doing that a little plug at the bottom I think to drain it um, just reading I was actually unsure uh, but I was just reading uh, the paint uh, two to three coats um, it's a three to one mixture with this and the reducer 10 to 15 minutes in between coats less less coat 15 to 30 minutes let it go and then do clear coat so the clear coat it says to do within 24 hours if you do it more than that you got to scuff up the paint um, give another little coat of base coat, then do the clear. So we're gonna try to do this all today. Hopefully just so we're all done. Um, hopefully. All right, there's only one cup. Nasty water. That's from the bottom of my compressor. Good. Ugh. Cup two. Um, I've never done this before, so I guess that's from when I got this thing. Gross. My dumbass got these little tiny ass cups, but Got to mix it up in here. I'm probably going to try to do about uh, 16 ounces. It might be a little too much. I don't know. But it's a 3 to 1 ratio, so I might do this twice. I might do like 6 and 2, and then 6 and 2 again. Throw it in the gun. Um, definitely got to wipe the car down with paint prep first. Um, I do have a tack cloth. I don't know if I'm even going to do that, but let me give the car a wipe down, then do a uh, paint prep wipe down. And then we'll see if I'm gonna tack cloth it before I spray, but gotta mix the stuff up and uh, go to town on it. How much footage of me actually doing this is gonna be in the video because it uh, overspray goes everywhere, so I don't wanna destroy my camera. So uh, you might just get like the after each uh, section, after each uh, coat. We don't know yet. The car's wiped down. Uh, I'm gonna open this paint up and hopefully um, not rip my fingernails off while I do it. Hopefully this is in better shape than the uh, primer I got. Um, this did travel by mail, so hopefully it got jumbled up enough. Ooh, it looks white. That's a that's a plus. Let's look at this. Not gonna lie, a little nervous about painting this, but uh, gonna mix this up. Then we'll talk right before I'm about to spray. It, I guess. All right, so uh, mixed up. Made a mess again. Awesome on that one. Uh, gonna throw this in the gun, and then I think we're gonna spray. Two coats are on. Uh, 
Um, it's not the greatest, but um, it is a garage paint job. Like this spot is a lot better than like this spot. I don't know if that's maybe just the way I'm spraying it. Maybe I'm not spraying it thick enough in some spots and too thick in others or the, I don't know. But hopefully the clear coat hides everything. Um, just gonna possibly wipe this down with something just to get some of the dust off. Um, and then we're gonna send it again. Third and final coat, hopefully final. All right, what's up? Uh, this is the next day. I just realized I never filmed anything uh, after that last clip. Um, car, place is the best. Uh, car has color on it. Not sure if it's uh, the way it's supposed to be, but it's the way it's gonna be um, for me to spray clear um, later on today. So, uh, ran into some technical difficulties last night, but I uh, think we'll, might be able to make it work. Um, as you see, it's white, yay. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like, have like a very light texture to it, but um, issues I was having yesterday, um, maybe it might've been like air movement um, was the issue, uh, especially the roof. I was spraying it and then it was like, kind of what happened with the, the primer, which was probably mostly my fault um, because I don't really know what I'm doing here. Don't tell anyone. Um, I was spraying it possibly pressure was too high or I was spraying it too close and it was getting like really rough um from my research uh what I was from my from my research um it was one of those two issues and what it really what was happening was that the extra particles the overspray was landing back and or like dry particles were landing back on top of the roof right there and giving it a really rough texture it was almost like sandpaper like almost like um it was very rough. It was like almost maybe like someone like sprinkled sand into the paint. So uh, it was like that. I wound up wet sanding it. Uh, so the first time after I sanded it down, uh, it went through in a couple spots. It was very thin. So I gave it another coat. Worked out pretty good. Had a couple textures here and there. So I wet sanded it again. Thought I was good. And then when I looked at it um, from certain angles, you could kind of see like the sanding marks. I thought you wouldn't see it since it was uh, uh, since I used a thousand grit. And um, it was wet sanding, so uh, I wound up having to give it a, another coat after that, and that's where we stand now. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. This is the best, best I've gotten it. Um, hopefully the clear coat, I can lay it on nice and thick and be able to buff it and make it nice and smooth. So, thanks for joining me on this video. Um, anyone that actually paints could probably see a hundred things that I did wrong. Um, I know, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm researching as I go. It is also in my garage. It's not a professional job. I am saving thousands and thousands of dollars by doing it myself. So if it comes out like shit, it's experience. And then when we go to paint the bends right there, probably gonna have to paint some stuff on that. So get some practice on the 240 to make the bends look crispy. But uh, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, wish me luck. Bye.